Hi, everybody. If you don't already know me, I'm Stacey Comfort. I'm the team librarian here at Chesley District Library. And today you are doing the LED geo lamp with me, which when it's completed, will look something like this, depending on what color you try to paint it, if you decided to paint it at all. Okay. So you should have a whole bunch of broken down uh, clothespins. I had to break about 500 of these by hand to get this to you. You should have a dowel rod, half of a popsicle stick, a little light kit, and wood glue and a paintbrush. I give you the paintbrush for the wood glue. You don't have to use it. I'm going to use hot glue gun just because it holds quicker so I can build it and show you how it goes. So what you need to do is make a whole bunch of little triangles. That's what makes the lamp. So I'm going to turn on my screen here and show you how it works. Okay. So what you're going to do is each triangle is made out of three pieces of clothespin and you want to put the glue um, this part here where I put the X, so not the bottom end, but the next one up. Do that to three pieces. And then you put them, this piece to the thin piece. So you see it's a thin piece to where you put the glue on both sides. Well, kind of three sides rather. I'm going to do another one and then show you how to build the, the uh, base. So again, glue on that one part there. Okay, so then you take your popsicle stick. Mine got a little busted. Some of yours may have gotten busted. I tried not to give you any big splintered ones. You can cut it down if you want to, that's okay. What you wanna do is put it across your bottom piece like this and glue it down. And then that gives the dowel rod a place to sit, which you also will glue down to the middle of the possible stick. I'm gonna hold that there for a second because I don't want it to fall over. Once your dowel rod is pretty secure, you can pick it up and twirl it around, you're pretty good. Again, the glue, uh, the wood glue is not going to be an instant bond like the hot glue is. So just be aware of that. So then these are LED fairy lights. Man, I'm fucking the shine. Ooh, pretty. And you have to unwrap the little cable. They're very long. <laughs> and each one is something like three or four feet. And then what you want to do is, you don't have to glue this down because you're going to have to replace the batteries eventually, but you do want to be able to hit the little switch if you're looking at the bottom of your lamp. So you need to be able to go like that. Then you take the many, many feet of fairy lights and wrap them around the doll rod. Just over and over and over until you're all done with them. Yeah. And then I guess I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right there. Just making sure that it stick stays stuck to the dowel up in the middle there. Then you start stacking the little triangles that you have made. 
to make the one that I have made. They kind of stack together. Oops, put that out there real quick. Like that. So there. You may have to move the battery compartment. So what I was doing when I was putting it together is kind of holding it down for a second and seeing where it's going to land. You could probably use a pencil to mark some dots about where to put your glue. Your glue on those little spots that you marked if you marked them. Of course, this will be. There we go. Now that's any too. Once we have lined up all of the triangles and made the full lamp, this can be tucked right back inside. So. We keep on doing that, building it row by row. This is also why I said it makes, uh, makes it easier if you paint it beforehand, because what I'll show you in just a second is This one, the first one that I made, I didn't paint them all before it went. And so I just painted the outside and it looked a little weird. So then I had to kind of get my paintbrush and paint it in all of the little cracks and creases and stuff. And you can still kind of see that there are parts in there that did not get painted. So. Then we just keep going. This is the, the other one so you can see that what it looks like when it's built up a bit. So the red triangle on this lamp that I'm working on right now, those were painted with regular paint. Um, the acrylic, I think Folk Art is the name of the brand. The gold ones I did with a paint pen, which mostly worked. The thing you're going to notice is that it, um, whichever way you color them, if you color them at all, unless you use like spray paint, it's gonna get all over your hands. So just be aware of that. These ones here that I was um, working on earlier, I did them with Sharpie marker and boy, my hands were all different colors by the time I was done with that. So then we have, uh, the full count is 45 pieces of clothespin because it takes 15 to almost completely cover up the dowel rod at the top. You can see there's just a teensy bit ahead there. And then once it's done and dry, you can tuck the light box down the middle there. And it'll slide a bit, but it can slide in and out so that you can turn it on and off. 